And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play System Shock 2. Uh, when we last left off we... Well, tried to find Dr. Watts but found that he was not actually in his office. Um, so we shall try to find... Uh, try to look for him elsewhere. Um, and we picked up also some magazines that I actually have no clue whether they have any use or not. Okay. Let us proceed into the next section. Actually, not the next section, but we're just back in this area that we already have almost thoroughly explored. Um, well, almost thoroughly, because there was one section where I um, chose not to explore. And that is precisely where we can find the R&D section. So that should be through this door. Yes, no, it's not. Uh, it is along this way, this corridor. Ah, yeah. Uh, we haven't yet been here. Um, yeah, there's a monkey. Shit. There's a monkey that... Yeah. I... That actually pressed the light switch here, apparently. And there's a text log and some antitoxin hypos. Well, they would have been. Oh, we actually have not been poisoned yet. Yeah. Um, if I would have touched those worms, then those might have been pretty useful. Um, if I would have had them by then. Okay. But I didn't touch the worms, so that is. Yeah. Uh, that's in sort of an empty discussion. Okay. There is a crate that we can hack. Uh, some nanites, anti rat, and met hypo. Always good to have. Um, you do not hide. Okay, this area seems to be pointless. Yeah, I don't think I can smash this crate. Yeah, I think not. Okay. Um, this window is unbreakable. Ah, this is not unbreakable. Can I break? I can break this window. There was a guy. Ah. It was too slow for me, however. Um, was there anything I could... Ah, there was a hypo, met hypo that... Was hidden um, a bit. Okay. There's a guide on there. Oh, and then he actually hit me. Okay. Um, yeah, we, I know I, I have picked up a text law. We shall read that once I find a quiet little corner. Okay, the music is a bit loud right now. Um, uh, let us okay. Let us just try to read this text log. Um, Yeah, last time we also learned that um, apparently Showdown, the, the rogue AI from the first game, sort of, yeah, transported to Tau Ceti. So apparently um, she or some other force from Tau Ceti is influencing the monkeys and also the other people here on this ship. These missions should have been scrapped before it left Earth. We've been unable to contain the reactant coolant leaks on deck one. I've put an order requiring hazard suits down there. I know you think this would cause a panic, but it's better than giving everybody radiation sickness, don't you think? Ah, okay. And... Is there... Okay, I think I hit the microphone there for a moment. Um, sorry. Okay, uh, these guys are actually not that frightening now that I have... Yeah. Gain some experience killing them. 
And they are also a good source of, of nanites, which we can use to buy items. Okay, I don't really care about these at the moment because we... Well, we have... Well, maybe some bullets would not... Well, we also have a lot of bullets, so yeah. There's no point on wasting our nanites here. Okay, we have uh, received four cybernetic modules. I think we shall actually head back for the moment and um, spend them. Because then we can actually use the, um, the Psi amplifier. Um, uh, ah. I think it was to... No. Okay, it was not I. I know my way now. Okay. It was to there and then down the elevator. It was quite loud here, so sorry. And I saw this guy. Yeah, yeah. So he will die next. Okay. Where is the Psi upgrade unit? Ah, okay. So the Psi pull is what I want, actually. Um. Ha. Ah. Now we have the Psi pull. Um. This we can, well, obviously use to get, to, uh, to pull items towards us that we could not otherwise, um, well, get. Um, okay, let us take care of that guy and then and let's go back to the R&D section. Where? Ah, okay. Um... Actually, one thing that I, yeah, I mentioned in the very beginning of this Let's Play that um, the fact that uh, this game is based on the Dark Engine uh, and the fact that it also powers the Thief games, um, not only do the Thief games and this game share the same engine, and I missed the Mad Cat there, um, also the gameplay, I mean the combat is quite similar. Um, so in in this in um, in Thief you actually have um, you also have some um, yeah melee weapons and swords. So I guess they just took the mechanic from um, from. The sword fighting and then oh okay uh, and then implemented it uh, I, I can't hack through windows yet, um, because I wanted to demonstrate you how we can actually hack security turrets um, so the yeah Okay, uh, let us meet, yeah, let us meet Dr. Watts, um, after we've looted this area, okay, um, nothing, ah, okay, some maintenance tools, um, some bullets, armor piercing rounds, I think, um, a text block, And some boring corporate politics. Uh, yeah, let us move on. Um, let us move on. Okay, uh, these bottles actually, yeah, alcohol does restore your health. Um, 
Oh, it's in average condition. Um, let's get rid of these magazines. I mean, yeah, they are quite worthless, I suppose. Uh, let's make room for the shotgun. Uh, I don't think I can use the shotgun. Um, I should look up which skill you actually need, precisely. Um, and I've wasted some ammunition there because I also could have used the... Uh, I could have used my wrench there also, but... Well. Okay, um... Hello there. Wanna try and kill me? No. Okay, this is getting boring. Uh, let's try to trap him under this elevator. Uh, hmm, okay, maybe this won't work. Okay, it worked last time. This time not. Okay. Uh, yeah, we were trying to get to Dr. Uh, Watts. We should hurry up because he is dying, so let us not waste any more time. Um, let us, uh, yeah, there's a pistol there, oh, which is in terrible condition, so let's not bother, um, shit, yeah, oh, and he actually shot his, uh, teammate, so to speak, uh, I don't think they are would really refer to each other as being teammates, but um, that's what I do. Um, so we have uh, hopefully now gotten the code. Okay, I think that's what. Yeah, we have the code for. Uh, Ah, we now have the maintenance access. I'm um, the code for the maintenance access shaft, which is good. Okay. And there was another lock. The time is 16:30. Autopsy subject A. Watson. And we're going to make the first incision in. Hold him down. I'm oh. Right. I thought for a moment that there was that, that was um. Someone here, but that was just the text lock. Apparently, um, the subject of the autopsy, yeah, displayed suddenly displayed some signs of life, and my oh, frame rate is going completely nuts right now. Um, oh, 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 that's very. Okay. Out the gun. The game does not crash. Uh, yeah, apparently I have not, um, despite my claims, figured out the way how to get rid of this problem. Um, it, it is probably due to fraps. Um, there's no point in hacking the securities. Well, if I were to disable the bot, maybe. Well. Let us, let us actually hack the bot, because... Okay, um... Yeah, I hope the game... The recording software has no more hiccups. Um... Yeah, let us go to this turret. Um, this is where we actually... Where we started the game, if you can remember this... Beginning sequence, where this... A guy hunted a woman down. Ah, shit. Uh-oh. Okay, um... Okay, the problem right now is that we have to deal... Uh... 
with this robot. Um, that is, I think, trying to kill us. Yeah! Uh, okay. Um, so that's a problem. Um, I hope you cannot, cannot enter through this door. Um, I completely forgot about this, this robot. Um, oh, shit, shit, and you can get into this room. Uh, let us be quick and... Uh, faster! Don't get stuck in the... In the, in the things. Okay. Uh, okay, let us... Uh, actually calm down for a moment. Okay. Um, and we gotten some cybernetic modules actually. Uh, okay. Okay, so we ah, we need to enter the access code to the maintenance shaft. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, and we have this to get rid of this robot somehow. Ah. And you can enter this room. Uh, there's only one elevator. Uh, um, I think I'm I'm screwed. Uh, I think I'm screwed. Um, yeah, but I think um, you also just if you're just waiting uh, long enough. He will just go away, so not such a big deal. Uh... Ah, he does not go away. Okay. Um... Okay, we have a problem. Um... And I think uh, when we'll come back, folks, we shall deal with that problem. Um, yeah, so until next time, folks. Um, till then.